platformers are the grandfathers of gaming. What started off as a simple, flattened, two-dimensional game style has turned into an undying genre that continues to bring fresh and interesting content. These kinds of games come in many different forms, from challenging like Cuphead and Super Meat Boy, puzzlers like The Swapper and Ibanov, building and survival like Terraria and Starbound. And then there are those that have been built around telling a story, like Dust, Never Alone and of course Ori and the Blind Forest. Now there is something to be said about being able to tell a story without saying a word, an art that few have accomplished successfully. With visual storytelling, context is king, and in Ori and the Blind Forest only a few lines of dialogue precede the introduction and sets the tone of what's to come. We are drawn into the beautiful tale told through a falling leaf, gorgeous and fascinating in its simplicity. Right off the bat we know that it's so much more than just a leaf. It's an origin story. And this is where Ori's journey begins. With only a limited number of characters, the protagonist of the game is of course Ori. Masterfully designed by artist Johannes Figelhuber, the genderless and orphan spirit guardian is absolutely striking in its simplicity. The character's manner and presentation is of a creature with a childlike innocence and vulnerability and we can relate regardless of how alien it might look. Ori's natural glow places great focus on the character, as the rest of the forest seems to be shrouded in darkness. The game wants us to know and emphasizes that Ori is the last hope for a dying world. Following Ori, the next most recognizable and absolutely memorable character has got to be Naru, Ori's adoptive mother. Warm, welcoming and endearing, Naru raised and cared for Ori like her own, and in the opening of the story alone, the game paints an incredible picture of a growing bond between two very different creatures that care deeply for one another. Naru is the nurturer and the protector, though at the time almost selfish in her love for Ori. On the opposite end of the spectrum sits Ori's foe and the antagonist of the story, Kuro. An owl with deep orange eyes, Kuro is presented as hard and almost evil. However, this is contrasted by her inherent protective nature that also presents itself. What we also see is her character shifting throughout the game. Kuro serves more as a hero villain than an outright villain. Think of Magneto from the X-Men, whose biggest motivation is his will to do right for his own kind at the cost of anyone else. If anything, Kuro is misunderstood, and so too does Kuro misunderstand Ori's intentions. The conflict and connection between the protagonist and antagonist doesn't come from evil intentions or a grand scheme, but rather something far simpler. Loss. Other characters include Gumo, a guarded and distrustful creature with its own strengths, and Seen, Ori's guide, who comes in the form of an orb of energy that contains power of the spirit tree. Seen also serves as a weapon, and is the one constant to Ori. Finally, there's the glue that binds it all together, the spirit tree itself, who is essentially Ori's biological parent, and both origin and destination of the journey. Now let's talk about the way that the game looks, sounds and feels in its combination of all these arts. Atmosphere plays a key role in games such as Ori, and this is where they really nailed it. Colour can bring life and set tone to an artwork, and some stories are memorable even simply because of their palette. When it comes to the colours used in Ori and the Blind Forest, there's heavy focus on complementary hues, in this case blue and orange. A large portion of the game is tinted in a rich blue, often contrasted with hints of orange. We see this in the landscapes and the lighting, and even in Kuro's eyes. This palette of contrast is probably best used at the very start, with the fruit that Ori and Naru pick and eat, which signifies life and prosperity, as opposed to the oppressive and claustrophobic dark blue that takes over. 
Tying in with this are the phenomenal hand-painted backdrops that have stunning depth. And although a side-scroller, Aria in the Blind Forest feels wide and immense instead of flat. Artist Simon Kopp finally polished the scenery, creating vivid settings that can feel either open or closed. Everything in the foreground feels like it's connected to the spirit tree, which is sometimes visible in the back. The sound and ambience of the forest has been meticulously put together and every bit of scenery feels vibrant thanks to it. Even scenes twinkle is reminiscent of the sound of a wind chime and brings a sense of serenity to its presence. One thing that I personally judge, maybe even unfairly so, is the suitability and quality of music in a scene or setting. If the sound effects create life and the art creates awe, the music embraces the two with warmth and understanding, instead of sitting on top of it like it's getting a piggyback ride. The original soundtrack is composed by Gareth Coker, who is known for a couple other remarkable scores. The music exudes emotion and warmth while hinting at those soft tones that pull us in to sympathize and feel for the characters and their situations. Light vocals, sombre orchestral tones and delicate piano pieces all fortify the scenes that they are flowing through. The main score in the introduction builds around the awe that is the spirit tree, before transforming into lighter tones that translate the fragility and innocence of Ori. With the modest but seamless swap it then switches over into the cheerful, light-hearted song that gives us a true sense of the relationship between Ori and Naru. Of course, above all, this is a video game and we'd be crazy not to talk about the way that it plays, since it really does only add to the overall quality of the game. Though there were times when I felt frustrated with some of the more challenging parts, I blame that primarily on my own lack of skill in platforming. Ori's controls are solid and the puzzles reasonable. There's so much more than just jumping around, fighting off bad guys. The game's leveling system comes in the form of abilities that can be used to increase attacks, defense and even other traits. Proper allocation of your skills into specific abilities will help you gain most from it in certain situations. Basic movement upgrades help with traversal, whereas upgrades to scene help you in sticky situations. A lot of the game relies on certain skills for you to be able to move forward with the story. However, these skills are unlocked as you progress and at certain intervals, serving also as a guide for where you need to go. Painted in elegant detail and bright complementary colors, backed by a marvelous soundtrack and solid controls, the game has a strong foundation on which to build its story. Now as I believe any book, movie or game is brand new for those who have not experienced it yet, you won't need to worry about any spoilers ahead. Ori's story is captioned through a handful of boxes of dialogue, but more so through the actions and interactions of the characters within the game. This is visual storytelling at its best, and the small bit of narration that the game does have is in no way the driving force of the plot, and serves more as a means to establish context. The story of Ori and the Blind Forest takes no back seat to any of its other strengths. Characters are deep and each is fleshed out enough for us to understand their motivations. No character exists for the sake of convenience. There aren't any jump the shark moments here either, with grounded progression and characters that feel meaningful. We care for each of the people we come across. There's a real sense of Sonder here. What Ori and the Blind Forest succeeds at is creating a world we can immerse ourselves in. It's so much more than just a game of jumping from place to place. It's the story of loss, of sacrifice and of hope. Art is defined as the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination. And Ori and the Blind Forest is in every way a work of art that transports us deep into the Blind Forest.